Hello everyone, Sebastiano here of CodyHouse.co. Okay, so in this quick video, I want to show you how to use the CodyHouse framework to generate the type scale and why it's useful to have the type scale within the framework in the first place. Okay, so we are looking at the uh, typography file uh, pasted in, uh, into a code pen so that we have a visual representation of what we are doing. And we want to focus on uh, this part here, the part where we define the, the type scale and uh, the body font size as well. Okay, so the type scale, first of all, is a, uh, is a set of modular nonlinear values obtained by combining a uh, scale ratio with a um, unit size, let's say. Okay, so in this case, the scale ratio is 1.2, and then we have uh, the unit size, which is 1M. Um, by combining these two values using a formula like this one, we generate a, a set of harmonious values, and uh, they can then be applied to elements of your design. In this case, for example, we apply, we store these values into CSS uh, variables, and then we apply these values to, for example, to the heading elements, as you can see right here. And then we define a set of classes uh, in case we want to apply these sites to elements that are not heading elements, but just other elements. Okay, so if we go back, uh, so this is the type scale. Uh, this value here is very important, the text base size. Uh, you can think of this value as the body font size. Uh, so first of all, it's important to understand that this value, this uh, variable here, is not the same as this value uh, defined here for the type scale. So this 1M here should not be changed. Uh, While well, you can change, of course, the text base size. The reason why we use 1M here is just to uh, inject the relative units into all of the um, text uh, um, size variables. So that uh, because of their nature, because they are relative units, they are affected by the, uh, the, the, the parent font size. So when we change this value here, which is the body font size, and you can see into the file that we apply these sides, uh, this value as the font size of the body, which means that when we change the body font size by updating the text base size variable, the whole typography system changes accordingly. So we, we create a cascade effect, let's say. Just to show you what I mean, if I change, for example, this value from 1.1m 1 1 to 1.2m, you, you can check the demo, you can see all of the uh, uh, all, all of the typography elements have changed as well. Okay, but what happens if I change the scale ratio? So and, and uh, why it's useful to have the scale ratio inside the framework. So let me show you. If, for example, we uh, increase the scale ratio from one point two to one point uh, point four. Then you can see we are affecting all of the elements but the text base size, which is always the same. So when you change the scale ratio, you are increasing the gap between the highest values of the type scale and the lowest ones. You are making, so in short, you are making uh, the H1 element, the H1 element, for example, uh, bigger. And on the other side, the uh, text uh, x s variable smaller, uh, uh, preserving the size of the of the body uh, by maintaining uh, uh, unchanged the text base size variable. So just to recap, if you want to change all of the sizes of your typography, you can change the value of the text base size. While if you want just to increase the contrasts of your typography, you have to change the text scale ratio. Now, if, you go, if we go back to the initial values, I want to show you why this system is, is powerful. It's because it, it allows you to um, handle type, um, responsiveness at a whole new level. If we check right here, uh, let me remove the comments. Now, um, we are saying that at a specific breakpoint, the medium breakpoint, we want to increase the text base size. Uh, therefore the size of the body, and the scale ratio, 
and let's see how this is going to affect the typography. So if I increase the viewport, there we go. Now you can see that past a specific uh, breakpoint, the text becomes uh, bigger. So we are not only making all of the elements bigger because we are changing, remember, the text base size, we are also increasing the contrast of the type scale because we are increasing the uh, scale ratio as well. And this system is very powerful because uh, it doesn't affect only typography. If we check this other example here, so these are just two very basic components where I'm setting some of the um, um, spacing using the spacing units. Now, bear in mind that we use the relative units also into the spacing system, meaning that when we define margins and padding, for example, uh, we use relative units as well. And uh, they are also affected by the size of the body, by the font size of the body. Therefore, when we change the, um, at a specific media query, when we change the uh, text space size, we affect all of the spacing as well. So if you check this example here, you can see that past the same media query, I'm, I'm not adding any more code here. Uh, this is always the effect of what we did earlier in the other example. So just by changing those two variables, we get also uh, in, an increase in all of the paddings and the margins as well. And you can see how this is, this is still affecting the typography, just like before. So I think this method is, uh, is very powerful because it allows you to control and uh, uh, change the typography system as a whole, uh, like all the elements together, they are all interconnected. While if we compare this with, um, for example, editing uh, specific elements manually at uh, different media queries, we realize how this is easier to maintain, because in one case, you have to go through all of the media queries and uh, manually uh, pick specific values for the sizes of the elements. Which means, for example, that if you change one of the elements because you don't like it, uh, maybe you have to uh, edit also the others because you want to maintain some, some kind of correlation between the elements. Uh, with, the, with our system, you don't have to do that. Actually, I changed the whole typography without even creating a single media query for uh, the uh, heading elements in this case. So uh, you give up some of your visual control in favor of maintainability and simplicity of the system. Okay, so that's all about the type scale of the Codehouse framework. Uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.